Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending February 25th, 2024. Haikyuu Final dethroned Gundam Freedom. More information about the live-action Naruto film. McDonald's is bringing Wookdonald's into the real world. And some old classics are getting new updates. Let's go into it. These are the headlines for today. We'll be talking about uh, all of this more, particularly those last three after the data but now let's get into it with the headlines the nintama rentaro franchise is getting its first new film in 13 years do you remember this steve i know we've talked about this in the past on the, on the show vaguely i mean it's yeah been such a long time and and you know they've only produced such a small amount of videos <laughs> for this franchise just just a little teeny now Gosh. yeah this thing is just like, like just it's like one piece. It just goes. Yeah. It just goes. Yeah. Um, so this is... Oh, one second. This is... Yeah, this is going great. There we go. Uh, Nintendo Rentaro. So the... This is a um, ninja super deformed comedy show. It has been airing on NHK since the 90s. Uh, they did their 32nd series we premiering in April. So yeah, it's doing... Yeah. It, it's, it's been chugging along. And um, uh, that is just kind of a, a thing that's chugging, that's, uh, that is there. Again, not a lot of anime films because it's a goofy ninja super deformed show. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really call for a you know, Gundam Freedom level uh, film, right. but we're getting one. Uh, it is going to be called Nintama Rantaro, the movie, the Dokutake Ninja Team's Strongest Strategist. And uh, there is a teaser video. The teaser video is just, you know, special effects. Yeah. There's, like, no actual animation or anything. Um, yeah, I was, I was kind of hoping for something, but it was just special. And I, and I was just like, okay, so I got the... Uh, where's the character? Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that is... Uh, that is uh, um, it's coming, which is, which is good. It's coming. If you're a fan, it's, it's coming. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> um, Steve, do you want to take the next one? Sure. So I'm going to massacre this Japanese name. Uh, Etoroji Shiono Ubelblatt. Dark fantasy manga gets TV anime. Yeah. So yet another manga gets an anime. Ubelblatt. Yeah. I just like saying that. Ubelblatt. 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 Um, so this takes uh, place uh, apparently a year after uh, the final battle uh, with Glenn, with the, the female protagonist, or uh, female uh, hero, heroine, mm. crowned as Empress of the Empire. Yeah. And again, it's about a, a an unknown person who wields this dark blade mm. and and he's rumored to have killed innocents and the bad guys are out to get him to 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 stop him but we don't know if he's actually evil or not we we know the answer but that's, <laughs> that's, yeah we want to be dramatic here yeah. so anyway if you are a fan of the ubo blot uh manga you're going to get it you're going to get a tv series and it looks if you're into fantasy actually I, just looking at the yeah. the cover art here it looks actually kind of quite interesting it does absolutely um, oh, I've just remembered, realized I can do a thing. I'm going to try something real quick. We're going to see if this uh, falls apart. Um, give me a, give us a second. Um, Steve, you should be seeing the, the actual yes. thing. Okay, good. That, that should that'll make things a little bit easier for everyone. Uh, yeah. All right, moving on. Night of the Living Cat is getting an anime. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, I know of Night of the Living Dead. I know of cats. Yes, it is Night of the Living Dead with cats. It is yes. cat zombies. Um, people in the world have turned into uh, cats who just want to kill you and eat you, a.k.a. cats. And um, they just attack everyone on sight. And there are a few humans left who are trying to survive in a world full of deadly cats. Uh, so, yes, that is, a, that is a TV anime that is coming at some point. Um, and, also and written, I should point out, as... Nyite of the yeah. Living Dead, Living Cat, rather. <laughs> um, and similarly, there's a teaser trailer, but so and and the way that people are turned into cats, zombie these 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 cats, mm -hmm. is they come up and and you have to give them pettings because they're so cute, <laughs> and you slowly transmogrify into a cat, and our protagonist is like trying to not. <laughs> which means that I will be one of the amongst the first wave of people to be turned into cats because I just I can't help myself. Exactly, there are 
five mm. volumes excuse me out in japan uh it is available uh, via seven seas in america as you can see from the cover um so yeah that is the thing and uh we'll see how it goes hmm. <laughs> uh hope it turns out well i'll buy into it exactly all right so we have another light novel getting a tv anime treatment in 2024 isn't that nice? Yeah. So it is Let This Grieving Soul Retire. Um, so apparently this is just about a pair of treasure hunters, one of which is very good at, at what she does, and the other one, the male protagonist, is not good at it, and he just wants to stop somehow. Um, and that's basically the crux of this. It looks kind of interesting, although the the um, character art is a little okay. Yeah. Um, Standard. Little, standard yeah mm-hmm. um so yeah there you go another light novel going into going into an anime about a uh, a slacker who just doesn't want to do it <laughs> and granted if i were in that world i would be similar you know right let's not stick my neck out too much um exciting no- uh, news for classic fans oh yes i should know joe is finally getting an english translation of the manga so uh, Kodansha is going to be publishing Ashida no Joe in eight oversized hardcover volumes. This is the first time it has ever been available in English in print. There will also be a digital release, release available. This is the original boxing manga from 1968 to 1973 with 20 compiled book volumes. So that gives you an idea of how hefty these, these manga yeah. are going to be. So we will see how that goes. Um, Let's see here. I'm trying to see the... It'll start in December, that release. Of course, as with so many things, it's hard to say how long that release schedule can be because the thing's been out for a long time. So it depends on how much they've been spinning up ahead of time to kind of get that translation and so forth. So we might get it quick. It might take longer depending on behind-the-scenes stuff. But that is very exciting to see some... It is. Uh, some of the, one, of the, one of the big classics available in manga. It is such a story that impacts so many anime and other mangas out there. And there's so many references to this thing. I, I, I love the idea of it. And they even had a real funeral for a fictional character. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I love the fact, actually, that they're doing it in big volumes. So you can go pick yes. up volume one, get a good chunk of the story, and then decide, okay, do I want to commit to more? It's yeah. not like, am I gonna am I going to pick up 48 volumes of a thing? Right. So. Good thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm already kind of trying to figure out where I'm going to put it on the shelves. <laughs> what do I have to give up? I don't want to give up anything. Mm-hmm. It's full of tough choices. <laughs> All right. So, because Evangelion will never end, mm-hmm. uh, G-Kids, of all people, is bringing the end of Evangelion film to U.S. theaters next month. So you get to watch the end of Evangelion uh, it's going to be in theaters the weekend, I think, uh, March 17th through the 20th. Yep. And, um, yeah, for all you Italian fans who want to watch this, I imagine if this makes it to an IMAX screen, I would probably, around my area, I would probably want to watch it. Uh, but, yes, I mean, you know, Evangelion will never die, even if we're retreading um, old stuff. Now, now right, I, ha- so. I have to correct you there. I have to correct you there, Steve. Oh. I believe it's pronounced Evangelion. Evangelion, sorry, <laughs> yes. Evangelion. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Uh, things gonna be uh, R-rated. Uh, it's a kids movie. It's G kids, so by God, it should be R. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I should hope so. Um, I, I would just say, if you see it in theater, gonna have at least one uncomfortable moment. To be very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. I, man. Can't, but, but you but you know you know there's going to be that one parent yeah it's like fantasia right yeah disney mm-hmm. it's gonna be that one parent that's going to bring in their six-year-old kid mm-hmm. oh it's a cartoon you're gonna love it and they're just gonna be like oh my god <laughs> you see shinji loves asuka very much and so when he so much stuff. <laughs> oh dear yes um well turns <laughs> out demon slayer makes money I know oh, that's a, a, a shocker to folks. The they did a theatrical screening of the first episode, which is an hour long, of the uh, Hashira training arc 
for the new Demon Slayers. That's the, the new season. And it earned five and a half million dollars on its opening day. Uh, this is in the U.S., by the way. So this is actually in U.S. theaters. Um, so did pretty well. Uh, that also adds in the preview screening from Thursday. Uh, it's a total of $10 million over the weekend. Um, they're estimating, um, that was about what Variety estimated for that, uh, with a rank at number two for the weekend. So not too bad there for Demon Slayer, uh, the, uh, uh, that the uh, Swordsmith Village arc um, did the same thing and made about $10.1 million. So that's kind of on the same thing. Um, and it's not a compilation, it is just the first episode, which happens to be an hour long. And so they, they threw that in the theaters. And uh, for those watching me, uh, we all know this, but um, uh, like theatrical releases in Japan can be just half an hour. Uh, it's not uncommon to have like these very short releases in, in Japan. So it's not weird to have a an hour long thing right. um, be released and, and, and put out there. So that's the thing. I will, I will say that this particular graphic is the first among any of the Demon Slayer stuff where I've, I've been kind of like, huh. You know, like actually kind of grabs me yeah. a little bit. So mm -hmm. not sure what it is. Yeah. It's a nice compilation of characters, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think this is also the arc. The, the, the preview for that is um, uh, the sister smiling without the thing in her mouth. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's like, ah, what's, what's uh. happening there? So, mm. um, but yeah. Uh, Demon Slayer is still bringing that in. The uh, anime is not premiering until spring. There's another reason why the big deal that, you know, you can you can go and do that. And I think it's also building off all of the uh, the excitement around, like, uh, uh, Barbenheimer and the idea of just all going to the theater to watch a thing. So, who knows? All right, these are the rest of the headlines. We'll be talking about the Haikyuu film, uh, the live-action Naruto, which everyone's looking forward to, and McDonald's after the data. 